here at Trade Our Tree Trading Group, June 20th. This is going to be a short, quick video. Um, I'm just we're just giving an update on this Beyond Me trade, and <clears throat> this is easily my most stressful trade in a while. Um, I've really been fighting this thing for the last two days. Um, after catching the big uh, put option trade, I caught this move, okay, on Tuesday. And after that, I've just been, you know, I, I went after Beyond Meat again yesterday for a swing short. Um, and then I came in here today and I've actually, you know, kind of averaged myself down on the position, but a little differently uh, because yesterday, if you guys watched my video yesterday, I bought the 150 strikes. Um, those are not looking good. Chances are I'm probably going to lose on um, on those contracts. Okay. If you watch my video from yesterday, the, you know, I, we really needed beyond me to break down today. We did not break down today. We held below a resistance level, but that support level is still holding, uh, this area that you guys see right in here. Here it is. Okay. Here's your previous support all the way back here on the gap up. You had more support and you guys can see that we have just continued to hold above this level. Okay. Um, I was playing this yesterday as a swing trade to break down below that level. And then eventually I'm looking for it to fill this gap. Okay. So here's this gap right down here to 150. I was looking for a break down below and then down here to go fill that gap. And this support let just wouldn't break, just would not break yesterday, guys. It just, it just wouldn't break. Um, we came in today Okay, and this resistance level at 174.50 that you can see here, okay, continues continues to be resistance. There it is again. Okay, here's your previous low. Okay, so here's this level right here at 174.50. And you can see we tested it twice on the 18th. We tested it right at the bell on the 19th. And then we tested it right at the bell again here on the 20th. Every time it gets up here, it sells off, sells off, sells off. But then this damn support level just will not give up. Um, I really thought we had it in here. Okay, in here, I thought we were going to really roll over and I thought we were going to break down below that support level. I actually drew out a little bit of a bear flag pattern, okay, that I started to see form right here. All right, so right here, guys, actually, right there, okay, is where I kind of averaged myself down on the position, but I didn't go and buy the 150 strikes again because. I'm, like I said, most likely I'm going to lose on that on, on the, those 150s. Um, I'd say I have like 98% chance of me losing on those contracts. But so I went ahead and I bought the 160 strike price. So $10 closer um, because when we were in this little bear flag setup, I thought if we broke down out of this bear flag setup that that would take us below this support level. Okay, and then we'd get down and start to get into that gap and test that 160. And then if we did that, then I would start to make a real nice chunk of change on the 160s to kind of offset my losses on the 150s. Um, so I've added to my risk on this trade and we broke down and then you can still see again, guys, this damn support level just will not break. Um, so I'm definitely fighting this thing. Okay, I mean, you can just see here, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at this support level. It just, it just won't give up. Um, so it's definitely been a very stressful trade. It was really just all I was focusing on today because after I, after I added my risk on this trade and I bought the 160s, I'm exposed now, guys. I, re I really am. And I'm definitely exposed. And I'm sitting myself, and I, I was a tug of war the whole day. It was a tug of war inside my own head about, you know, the stock, you know, they put out news today. That's why you had the gap up. They gapped up. They ex expanded their partnership with Del Taco um, to provide the, the plant-based meat for the tacos, and but now for the burritos as well. Um, so that's why you had the gap up. So this thing gapped up on news and still couldn't break above that resistance level at 174.50 and then sold off all the way down to go red and then test yesterday's lows. So I'm like, okay, this stock is weak. So it wasn't able to bounce all day. It just traded sideways after that morning sell-off. It just traded sideways. So I'm like, the stock is weak, but it's just not breaking that support level. Um, 
And I'm starting to feel like this might be one of those trades where I get the direction right, but my timing is just off. I have a feeling that my timing just might be off on this because um, those contracts expire tomorrow. So I need this 160 level to break down tomorrow. Then my 160 contracts will start to spike um, and that can offset some of my losses from the 150s. But at this point, guys, I'm just trying to manage this risk a little bit and try to get myself back to break even because I'm losing on those 150s. Unless this thing completely falls apart tomorrow, which it's still possible. If it breaks below 160, I think we can fall to 150 very quickly if we get below 160. Okay, but it's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be tough. I feel like this might be a trade where I've got the direction right, but, you know, maybe like Monday or Tuesday it breaks down and falls and then that'll just be very, very upsetting and frustrating to see that I was right with the direction, but just wrong with the, the timing. Uh, but that's part of trading options. You know, when you're trading options, y y it's not enough to be right on the direction. You've got to pick, you got to be right on your timing as well. Okay. Cause the timing is, is, is everything, you know, when it comes to these option contracts with the time decay and the, uh, the time value, the extrinsic value. I mean, that's what those options are really all about. All right. So I just want to give you guys that quick update to let you know that I bought, went ahead and I bought the 160s. So I'm really exposed. And if this thing gaps up tomorrow for some reason and we're back at like 170, 171, tomorrow may end up being my worst day of the year um, so far. So because, you know, I'm exposed. But if this thing cracks tomorrow, we get below 160, I will be one happy camper because this has been a very, very stressful trade. Um, and I just want it to be over with at this point. So I want to give you guys that quick little update. All right. So, uh, I'll see you guys in chat tomorrow and we'll see what's going on with this beyond me trade. Take care.